It's a Varney day. So we've got some bright sunshine. We've got some awesome sunglasses. What better day to talk about the company that started that phrase from the beginning. So Varney makes some of the best sunglasses in the world. They've done so since 1957. They came out and were originally doing the mineral glass lenses. Now, they were not actually Varney at that time. But the optician was making these glasses. So this is the original, the one everybody knows as a Varnay. This is the Varnay Model 02. This is what was given to Jean Varnay back in the day that he loved in the ski links, which is my favorite lens, hands down, that Varnay makes. This is their pure gray with a blue flash mirror. Nice, neutral, good everyday lens but it's no ski links by far. The ski links lens is one of my favorites. I have a nice video of that and a good overview of what that is. We'll link to it in a card up here. So if you're interested in more about the ski links, click up here, check that out. I definitely recommend it. Again, one of my favorite lenses they make, hands down. But as for the O2, so that was made up. He had it in the Ski Links lens combination, which is essentially a yellow-green lens, heightens contrast, really helps in foggy, hazy conditions more than almost any other lens. Almost. Almost. <laughs> That's another story for another day. We're on Varnay today. And as such does a great job because what they do is a bi-shaded mirror. So you have a partial mirror that comes from the bottom up and down from the top up that gives you a darker view here and there with an open center, a slightly lighter section. The advantage of this, that allows them to block that dazzling light and glare you get from above and below out on the slopes while not doing a polarized lens. Now that's another thing I get into in another video, polarization versus tinted. <sighs> oh, I could go on about that for days, but I won't. In my other video I only did for a few minutes, so check that out if you're interested. But the main thing I want you to take away from that, the Ski Lynx is not a polarized lens. The reason for that, using just a tint, allows them to give you better depth perception on the slopes. You can read the snow better. Just like golfing, you want to read the grass better. Polarization makes that worse. Pay attention. Now, back to the Legend O2. So a very cool frame made from nylon, nice and lightweight, just enough flex to it, but fairly rigid. You'll notice there is no metal core there, but because of the material, there is some adjustability to it. So. The other nice thing with these, they do have a very good wrap built in. So even though it's not that traditional sport wrap that comes up all the way to the cheeks, you do get a lot more coverage than you would see with a traditional fashion eyeglass. And that's not to say these aren't fashion. They definitely are. Going all the way back to the 60s, even Mick Jagger wore these. So, something to keep in mind. But the definition of Varnay, the classic, the authentic, the original, if you want that true classic Varnay, that is going to be one of the Legend O2s with the Ski Lynx lens. That is your throwback for the day, so enjoy that. But if you have any other questions, there's any other specific Varnay frame you would love to hear more about, or any other glasses you want to hear about, let me know below. If you own an O2, let me know what you've got. I would love to hear your thoughts on the lenses and the frame themselves. I only have so much experience with them. <laughs> yeah, anyways. But let me know your thoughts and feedback on this video as well as the Legend O2, anything from Varnay or anything optically related. I'm all game for it. If you liked the video, definitely subscribe and ring the bell. Follow along as we go through this journey of checking out cool frames and eyewear and learning all about lenses and adjustments and all whatever crazy thing comes through my mind every day. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.